You have entered the Chronics Rabbit Hole. Where's Army? We have something special coming down the rabbit hole. We have an ocean of strange islands, the official lyric video coming to you today. And I can't wait to get into this new song released from Yesterwind. As we're on our strange island ourselves by an ocean, I'm very excited for this one. And this is the official lyric video. Can't wait to check this one out. It's been a long time coming as this has already been out for a month, but we've been waiting to check it out with you all. We do have the album, but we're still been waiting to do this reaction first time. And here it is. It's taken us so long to get to this song because as Kyle says, it's already been released for a month because I wasn't back on the channel yet, but I'm here and I'm so excited. We have been holding off with anticipation to listen yeah. to the song and not listen to the album that we own until we get to react with it all with you guys and experience this first time. So here we are with an ocean of strange islands and I can't wait. Ooh. Ooh, it's gonna be beautiful too, isn't it? Sure is, it already is. Whoa. Almost Tim Burton esque. Right? Oh. So much power! What are you feeling so far? This is really cool. It this is such a difficult song to sing. Right? Like the oh la all the songs that I've been listening to since like, this album to this one. Since right? yeah, since Endless Forms Most Beautiful Most Beautiful to this one. Yeah. It um this the singing, the lyrics on it have become progressively more and more difficult. Like it even, seems like at least it, it seems from like us. at least yeah. But we also know that Tuamas has almost a sadistic sense of wanting to push his singers as far as they possibly can go. Right. Because he wants to have the most beautiful, the most intricate, the most unique and fascinating of uh, the lyrical styles along with the music that he produces in that Disney-esque form and that Tim Burton-esque form like you were mentioning. Absolutely. And I'm really getting a feel from that with the butterflies swarming, very similarly to the birds swarming. So like this is such a cool piece it was also making me think of like charles darwin where he like went to the different islands checking all the birds to see like yeah. the evolution because there's so much of that being blended into all the imagery as well there really is and this whole yesterwind is like evolution itself going through all the time right yeah. so i'm i'm loving what it's producing here and even with what you just said islanders villagers universal mariners so like once you're on the sea it's all universal you're in no yeah. man's land absolutely
incredible. lost there like in the the in a good way like yeah the, they they the transition in that one was so seamless it's almost like got lost in time i tell you like there's something magical about what wamas can do with what he's producing here and like you said it's a lot to do with floor getting pushed to the highest difficulty but being able Absolutely. to execute it still well even um with, with the musicians here like yeah Empu he's, was he's, flying, Empu was flying. The drum, the bass, it's all coming in like like Yuke is killing it on the bass. Kai is oh, right, killing yeah, yeah. it on the drums. <laughs> it's like I got you. I, I know what I'm talking about. Got me. <laughs> so like like they're they are all being pushed to their next to like the next level, like in a different epitome of what's coming out on this album. Yeah, and when I saw the views here, um I was a bit like not apprehensive, but I was confused why I didn't have let's say more views than the one that came after it but then seeing it's a lyric video those ones normally don't have as many views as a normal music video so but the the song itself is sounding incredible so like it's it's surpassed my expectation of what the song was going to sound like and i'm happy for that too this is extremely progressive yeah, sure is. And for is the it, length of this song, it's going to keep going. <laughs> it's going to keep going. And I'm really curious to see what what lengths Tuamas pushes this al- whole album to. Yeah. Let us know your thoughts of this song. taken out of this so far now that we're in kind of like the second third oh my goodness i'm still like i'm still trying to understand kind of everything and i'm i'm a little bit caught up on like the concrete cast of everything on in like the visuals oh okay right right because like everything like yeah there's birds and there's butterflies and there's orcas and everything but it's all a concrete cast Right. So what do you mean by the concrete cast? Okay, like everything. Like, like it's made yeah, of yeah, concrete. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. And like then the 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 whales, for example, they aren't actually whales. They're the what's the word I'm looking for? They're like the blueprint of what a whale should be. Right. Right. So it's not and it's not complete. It's not fully made. So they're just kind of like 
in the process of. And then also when they're singing like the Lords of a Single Fly, it's like Lords of the Flies. Okay. But it's just like a single fly. So instead of being like a lord of this, a lord of this entire thing that you're creating, it's just a single island. Or it's just a, a strange single island, island, a strange island, a strange individual. And maybe we are the island itself, and part of yeah. this ocean, right? And we're all that. And then we're all strange like, island. Yeah, it's like you're you're a lord of your own inhabitant, but yet then you're completely blind to everything else around you, because normally the butterflies don't go into the ocean. So they're going into an area that they are not. Yeah. And right? there's a lot so of interpretation that you can there's do. There's so much and interpretation with this. Who knows how much it's supposed to even contrast, exactly. right? But it's going so fast because of the way that the time structure of her singing is. Da, 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 it's so da, 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 offbeat and, kinda, and how difficult to follow. So it keeps you in an anticipation, almost in like an uneasy lull this entire time. Right. So maybe it'll take you an others a few more times to digest it easier absolutely because i can't follow the pattern as well like there's a pattern right. in it because you have to follow the pattern to be able to sing off tempo like this no kidding yes but it's a difficult pattern to follow floor's the goat she really <laughs> is the goat here we go yeah the song's going everywhere wow it's so nice to be like, back these to are it. amazing transitions yeah so many wow moments Yeah. I love this one. I think these are his alien pipes. Yeah, most likely. Flawless translation to this, too. Nice, we're sailing now. You got that right.
that's how you end that epic. That is an epic. It sure is. Wow. For me, what I find incredible is Nightwish have an ability um, to essentially make it feel like they're making a song for like a national anthem type of feel for the yeah. pride that comes behind the music absolutely and it's for nature itself usually and then the yeah. beauty of how you could interpret this song as for me what i was taking it was like if we're all in this ocean we're all our own strange island and the beauty that can come out of it and the complications and all that that come from all that stuff that's beautiful because, like you said, it was coming at such a quick pace. Even having the lyrics in front of us with that lyric video, it I was still, it was still so it. hard to interpret that as it came in. Mm -hmm. And the music itself, though, as it transitioned through everything, was just impeccable. It absolutely was. It really was impeccable. All the transitions were so on point that it's like, even when we paused and then restarted it again, it was like a different aspect, like a different epoch within the song itself because the transitions were happening at those perfect moments as well when you wanted to pause it when you wanted to have a yeah, moment to speak yeah. about it and that doesn't like that's how you know that good music has been written to its perfection is because the pauses of and the transition because the transitions of the music are correlated with your thought process absolutely it is and it helps like tell the story too but it then it really does i'm i'm surprised this one was so progressive that it made it hard enough for you to interpret it and that's even a challenge within itself it really and i think is. that's what you're trying to bring out and that's what i think is so inspiring about nightwish is how they're still able to push themselves to a level that even people like us are having a harder time even interpreting this type of a song yeah. and this is like a nine and a half epic that i was loving so much absolutely and even though like i couldn't really interpret <laughs> interpret i made this shape um even though i was having a hard time interpreting the lyrics that were happening something that really stuck out to me is i i love butterflies i have a fascination with butterflies yes you do and, absolutely like I'm, I'm maybe an obsession with butterflies but um what was really cool is that he used these the um, concrete cast is kind of the the imagery that i had of like the boat yeah. and the butterflies and everything that was going on but then when he at the very top of the mast where the butterfly was like perched on the mast there was a flower a concrete flower at the top of the mast i don't know if you noticed that there no so it was like a daisy and the butterfly was on top of that daisy and all the butterflies were swarming this one daisy but the boat itself looked like it was decomposing with the way that it was um created imagery wise and the reason nice. why that's really Im impactful for me is because we all know that butterflies are uh, pollinators they go around they drink you know nectar and they're pretty and like beautiful and everything's like so like happy go lucky you know butterflies and rainbows with butterflies yeah but what what a lot of people don't realize is that butterflies are also decomposers right and that they will go and they will um eat off of decomposing animals and decomposing things because it gives the same nutrients as the nectar itself and what they can get when there is not enough nectar around. So when you find butterflies in a desert, they're actually decomposing the things in the desert because there aren't enough nectar creating flowers around. Wow. So when there's this flower on the top of the mast of this decomposing ship that's trying to find all these islands and the butterflies are chasing the one thing that could give them nutrients as they're going to all these strange lands and all these strange islands and so that was something that stuck out to me i don't really know what the meaning behind it was that um tuamas is putting in there but i thought the decomposing ship and the way that he designed it with that flower on top being swarmed by butterflies was very visually appealing especially it sure was going if you're trying to find that one island to be the lord of your single fly to find that one island that's going to give you that nutrients that you need to continue moving forward i think that was very well depicted visually at least in this wow. video and what did you think about the music in this one the music was so empower impactful i loved how yeah. heavy it was this yeah, song is a was lot a nice heavier feel. than a lot of um previous nightwish songs that i've heard recently yeah um i know like they were really really heavy in their beginning era then they got a little bit more do you think it was more rocky. heavier than the day of and perfume of the timeless I don't know. I'd have to re-listen to them. That's fair enough. 
I'd have to re-listen to them. But this one, it was so heavy. And even if it was just because of how hard the drums are being hit, how much bass was coming yeah, Kai, through. Yeah, Kai was, like, flying Kai and the double bass flying. pedals coming in, too. And, like, um, Yuka on his ba- on the bass guitar was coming through so prominently for right. me, Right, yeah, yeah, Maybe it it's these new amazing headphones. They but sure like, help, I'm not going to lie. They sure help, but he was coming incredible. through so powerful yeah. that it made the song so much darker and, and, and deeper because of those bass notes. Yeah, especially the middle section. I think that's mm-hmm. the part that stood out the most for me because once it had that shift, it was, like, another three minutes of just complete epicness. Yes. And the thing about Nightwish, even if you don't... Don't like the whole song there's going to be usually a portion a that portion is a love. song within itself because that's Absolutely. the beauty they have they have like multiple songs in one songs when you have an epic like this they, and they sure do as the islands would suggest it's going to be different feels everywhere you go and i love that this is the islands as well then it ended in almost like a sea shanty Absolutely, yeah right no so it gives you that another that another part of the song that you could either love or hate depending on your musical taste such a but reflection then, like a reflecting type of a feel at the end of that absolutely, song absolutely very much reflecting type yeah so let us know and reflect your thoughts in the comments below of what you experienced the first time you listened to this song and what you thought about the video as well and hit that like button if you did have a good time with us and nightwish army we will be back real soon with the last music video for nightwish's album yester wine and then after that we finally get to listen to the we album start to finish and maybe y'all will get to see that as well so definitely if you want to see that put that in the comments as well to let us know peace and love everyone Thank you so much for being here with us. This was such an amazing treat night with Night Wish Army. I got tongue-tied there. Forgive me. Peace and love, everyone. God bless. Take care and bye for now.